In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting review of the new 135th anniversary blend and Yeho from San Matias right here on the Tequila Ombre coming up next. And welcome to this episode of the Tequila Hombre, where today we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting review of the new 135th anniversary blended Añejo from San Matias. Now, I've known about this um, special edition coming out for, oh, probably a year and a half, two years now, uh, but I was sworn to secrecy until they were ready to release it. And actually, it was supposed to kind of come out um, last Christmas. Uh, but things were delayed and they had problems with getting the bottles and the and the packaging and stuff on it So finally it has finally been released and here it is now available here in the US And of course we do have it at ferment and still now um, A little bit about this blend it is to celebrate the 135th anniversary of San Matias uh, Casa San Matias distillery They um, what they did for this was kind of cool is they took all of their añejos and extra añejos and blended them together. Now, one thing that's really kind of special in this as well is that the last barrel of Orgullo, which is um, a brand that they did before that's been discontinued now, it's no longer available, they don't make it anymore. So if you find bottles of Orgullo out there, um, buy them, they're, they're good, it, they're really good. I used to buy the Orgullo Añejo a lot because it was really inexpensive and it tasted really good. Uh, and it was a great budget option, but uh, it's no longer available because it's been discontinued. But there may be some stores that still have it. They saved the last barrel of Añejo to use in this 135th. So this has the last barrel of Orgullo in it, which makes this also a collector's item because there never will be another bottle of Orgullo, um, Orgullo uh, around anymore uh, forever. It's done. So... Um, Makes this a collector's item. There's only 9,000 of these that were sent to the U.S. So it's lim very limited edition and uh, a very special item. And, uh, of course, Casa San Matias is really close to my heart uh, because of um, the, all the fantastic tequila they do. And the people there are amazing as well. They're very passionate about tequila and doing things right, not using additives and not cutting corners and stuff. And so that's one of the reasons why I like a lot of the brands that they do out of there. So the brands that will be featured in this blend um, would consist of Ray Sol, uh, San Matias Gran Reserva, the uh, San Matias de Ona Añejo, the Orgullo, um, the Pueblo Viejo, uh, just to name a few. So it's got a load of stuff in there. Now, the boxing actually, actually it shows you here on the back too what's in it. So the boxing on this, is it, the packaging is really cool. First, let me show you the, the back before we get to the front. So on the back, it says an addition that symbolizes a journey of over 135 years, an extraordinary tequila, the first blend in our history, created with the finest blend of Añejo and extra Añejos tequilas from Casa San Matias, a tequila profile uh, honoring all those whose passion and commitment have forged our way in the world of tequila. So this is to honor a bunch of people. So you know it's got to be good, right? And then it shows you like all the brands here. So it's Orgullo. Ray Sol, San Matias, uh, Grand Reserva, San Matias, Taona, <clears throat> and then the Pueblo Viejo. So those are all the Añejos uh, and extra Añejos that were blended into this. Now this is one thing, I want to show you the front now because it's really, really, really cool. Uh, check this out. <laughs> all right, also has the 135th emblem uh, em embossed in the top here. You can see that there. Let's see if it'll focus on it. There you go, 135th emblem there. Now the front is really cool. So it has this panel on the front and you, you originally think it would slide, right? But it doesn't. Instead, it rotates. This is kind of like a velvety finish on this too. It rotates to expose the bottle. Let me pull the bottle out. It's been locked in here. I haven't taken it out yet. So we'll pull the bottle out now. It's, it's got a certificate of authenticity in it, as well as one of the a crystal. So it shows that this is an authentic bottle. So those of you that are, that are looking for collecting, 
it makes this a collector's item uh, and it will because there's a limited edition of them it will go up uh, in value as they sell out so uh, make sure you get yours now while the pricing is still good on them the bottle is a crystal bottle so it's beautiful it says san matias 135th anniversary tequila san matias anniversary blend Nijo. really nice bottle beautiful and then on the top you can see them here they put 135 crystals <clears throat> one for every year they've been in existence and then the, the top is a glass stopper with a cork um, top in it. Very pretty, very well done. I'm sure if they entered this into some package, packaging uh, competitions, they would definitely uh, get an award for this. All right, let's. now that we've seen the packaging, we've seen how this thing is put together, and we got kind of a, the background behind it, let's jump into the tasting portion and see what this is all about. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and uh, pour a little bit in the glass. Just uh, so you know, too, uh, San Matias does not use additives. So don't ask me if it's got additives in it. It doesn't. It's additive-free. Uh, confirmed additive-free by the Ombre. I've been to this distillery so many times. I've drank their tequila straight out of the barrel. They don't need additives. They have a young lady there whose name is um, Roxio, and she is amazing at blending uh, aged tequilas and stuff together to, to get the flavor profile that she's looking for. Uh, and she's also, I've, I've known her very well because of all the barrels that we bought from them in the past for the tequila barrel and agave collective. Uh, she's the one I sit across from when doing the tasting and we taste and compare notes and stuff with each other. Uh, she's fantastic as far as her tasting notes go. She's on top of things. She knows what she's doing. And, uh, she's the new, uh, master distiller now there and uh, is also a master blender. So, She's the one that worked on blending all these to make sure that um, the flavor profile was spot on. And I trust her um, explicitly. She's she's amazing. So I know what she knows what she's doing. So I'm, I have confidence that this is probably going to be really good. I'm going to be really happy with it. But let's see. Um, I always like, you know, to let the proof be in the pudding, uh, so to say. So we're going to cap this off. And I think I'm probably going to end up having to buy another bottle of this because... Um, it's it's such a pretty display and stuff and it's gonna i know it's gonna be tasting really good because of course um you guys know what ray Sol does to me especially those that watch the live streams okay so and then according to carmen i'm i'm the godfather of ray Sol. they consider me the godfather of ray Sol, which is an honor that i am proud to um to hold because i do love ray Sol. All right, so looking at this in the glass, it coats the glass. Look at that, beautifully. You can see it just breaking off the glass right there. The tears are forming and, and dropping down the glass. It's gonna have a nice viscous mouthfeel to it. It looks extremely tasty, I'm already salivating. Looking at the uh, tequila itself, crystal clear, nice uh, light amber color to it. No floaties, nothing. Nothing weird or different with that. So it looks really good. All right. So let's see what we get on the nose on this. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. There is so much going on. Now, one of the nice things I always love about San Matias Age Spirits is there's always a gabi. The gavi is always present. That's one of the ways you know that there's no additives because when somebody uses additives in a tequila, you won't taste the gavi. You'll taste all the, the only thing you'll taste is additives. But there's definitely, <laughs> definitely cooked the gavi coming through on it. <clears throat> definitely getting like dried fruit, like apricot and mango, cherry, a hint of citrus. And by cherry, it's like it's more of the like maraschino cherry, <clears throat> vanilla, definitely caramel, butterscotch, a hint of maple syrup, and a nice like um, churro Mexican flan kind of sweet cinnamon note that's coming through on it too. 
Oh, it smells, it smells great. It smells really good. Uh, I love French oak too. And you can definitely pick out some of the French oak notes on this. Mm, it smells so good. Uh, <coughs> I'm almost, I'm almost don't want to do the mouth prep, but I have to. So let's prep our mouth because this is the first sip I've had of, of uh, alcohol today. So all right, so. <clears throat> I need to compose myself because just, just, just the warm up set. I'm not supposed to judge any flavors I'm getting from the warm up set, but, <clears throat> but um, okay, <laughs> I'm a, I'm about ready to cry. Seriously, uh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Tasting this is 40 percent alcohol by volume, so it's not high proof. My God, this makes me so happy. Mm. Beautiful cooked agave up front. This is like silky, buttery smooth on the mouthfeel. That cooked agave notes is just the first thing that hits you. Then you get this beautiful, sweet caramel vanilla dried fruit cherry-esque uh, note in there it's like a, a mexican uh custard with like the caramel syrup on top of kind of note that's in there as well it's nice butterscotch from the french oak definitely french oak presence in there little hints of bitter wood notes in there but i mean hey it just balances it out you know this isn't artificially sweetened because it would have been just like super sweet and stuff from additives. But it's there's none of that stuff there. This is so complex and delicious. Um, <clears throat> I need to take another sip and tell you guys about some more. So. Oh my god! Oh my god! Cooked agave up front, dried fruits, cinnamon, custardy goodness, even like a churro-esque kind of cinnamon, sweet cinnamon note in it. Cherry, butterscotch, vanilla, caramel. And it's just so velvety smooth on the mouthfeel. It coats your mouth beautifully. This is fantastic. This is one of the best añejos I have ever had. I, I can't believe, I mean, I know there's extra añejo and stuff in here, but this is like ambrosia. This is like liquid of the gods. This is stuff is unfreaking believable. So I think we're selling it at fermented stuff for like $466. Uh, it's well, it's worth it. It's it's one of the few bottles out there that is worth it. I mean, this is fantastic. It's great. I'm going to definitely finish this bottle. I could definitely enjoy this with a good stogie. Um, the flavor experience in this is just like, oh my God. And for those of you that already have your bottles, if you're tasting along, you know what I'm talking about now. All I can say is wow, wow, wow. So I give this one a strong five agaves. This is like, unbelievable you guys you're gonna love it i love it i'm gonna buy more bottles fantastic <laughs> this is great hold on it oh and this is gonna open up a little bit over time too this is just gonna get better the longer it sits in the glass phenomenal phenomenal Five Agave, you guys give me a thumbs up if you like the information I shared with you today. 
If you're new to the channel, bienvenido, welcome. Make sure you click that subscribe button here and the notification bell next to it. If you're a, a member of the channel, thank you for, for joining and thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for what you're doing, for allowing me to do this. Um, you're great. And uh, I'm going to be doing some interesting and, and special things for the members. So stay tuned. And like I always say, life is too short to drink bad tequila. So, hey, if you pick up the 135th anniversary uh, blended and yeho from San Matias Grand Reserva, you're going to be drinking some of the best in yeho you've ever had in your whole entire life. Guaranteed. <laughs> Salute. Bye, guys.